By mid-morning, Hurricane Katrina was absolutely pounding St. Tammany Parish. We're here in the Mandeville area right now, and we've experienced wind gusts uh, easily approaching, if not over 100 miles per hour. All across the area, from Covington to Mandeville, we've seen street lights down, tree branches uh, twisted and broken, and occasionally you'll see uh, sheet metal and parts of awnings uh, scattered about the area, wrapped around poles. The, the wind does not seem to be letting up uh, at this mid-morning point, and officials in St. Tammany Parish are again urging everyone, if you have not evacuated, to stay in your homes. Don't try to travel. It is way too dangerous to do that. And they expect these hurricane force winds to continue in St. Tammany Parish uh, for several hours, uh, probably through at least mid to late afternoon. Uh, the the eye wall uh, is grazing uh, Slidell and passing through the Slidell area at the mid-morning point. But even here in western St. Tammany, uh, we're getting lots of wind, just torrential rain coming down in sheets. Uh, it's just almost hard to believe that Katrina is actually here and doing this to our area. It's hard to tell at this point uh, how bad the damage may or may not be. We just It hasn't been safe for us to really travel around and check it out. Hopefully officials and, uh, and news crews will be able to, to get out later and see just how bad it is. But for right now, Katrina is really packing a punch for St. Tammany Parish. Reporting from the North Shore, I'm Mike Ross.